Hello, you legends. We are here with Arctic Lake, and I'm going to give you a 100% guide. Now I'm just going to give you a shout. If you don't want to hear me rambling on like I do, go and push that uh, settings cog and put the playback speed on two, and you can basically just follow me along. So we're going to start off by going through this, and first of all, we go down here and do this battle. Now there's a chest behind here. I have already started this one and come back. To, well, obviously not started it, but I'm using someone's M Bison I've hired to help me, and then I'm using this team here. It's quite a decent one, um, very straightforward team, but this works very well. It's always important to have a healer as well when you go through this mode to keep your character in top, tip top shape. But I like to use Reese's character here. I, re I hire Reese's M Bison every single week without fail and he literally carries everything so then you go and pick that chest up now I, on these i obviously like to do the crit damage this one's fantastic because you get speed and that means you can get your special out before anybody else so i always like to go for speed just a little bit and after you've challenged that one and beat it you obviously get get your box and then you're going to go up and back around so now we're going up here we're going to fight this one up here and this is going to give us a box behind it so again quite a simple route no, like nothing's too difficult on these i'm not gonna say they are obviously i'm using rita's m bison who basically kills everybody instantly at the start and then we go down to the next chest below it so again these are pretty straightforward just keep getting as much power as you can that one's very good now we're gonna go fight this one and we're gonna pick up the chest behind this one as well so like that fight this one and again m bison's most likely just gonna explode and kill everyone immediately and who doesn't die will be hit with that and they'll get rinsed instantly. Now this does get a little bit more complicated now because we are going to start having to use ice and having to sort of navigate a bit more um, sensibly. But we're going to hit there and we're going to slide down this one all the way to the end and we're going to do the battle. Now once we get to the end, we do the cheeky battle like this. Fight this battle. Again, it's going to be quite easy for me. And then there's a chest behind this one so you're going to want to pick that up and you're going to want to slide around this area just like a little ice rink basically you slide into that grab that slide down slide down then you slide across now this is where it does start to get a little bit more sort of complicated you go down you go across like that and then you want to go um up to fight the boss and get the stuff behind him so again we're going to slide up here and we're going to get we're going to fight this through here and this is going to destroy quite nicely for us Again, I don't particularly have much difficulty. I won't have much difficulty on this one because of the level. So what I do recommend, and I always kind of say this before I do these, uh, the burn one, that's my favourite, is that you make sure your team is on a good level because what you don't want to do, and this is what I did on this first, is get all the way to the end. So you get that chest there and go down. You don't want to go all the way to the end here and then end up getting um, stuck and then having to restart the entire mission because that's what I had to do and it really annoyed me. You're going to fight this one here like that. Go in and fight that one, nice and easy. So again, it keeps it nice and easy. And this is kind of what I recommend for everyone to do. It's just trying to keep the speed up as quickly as possible. I mean, again, anybody can come in and hire an M Bison. I mean, if you add me as a friend, you can hire my M Bison if you want. I'm gonna go up and fight this guy up here. I'm, I'm only working, I set myself a challenge to only work on M Bison. So the only thing I'm doing is the, the divination at the moment. So I can keep trying to bring M Bison up as much as possible and that's kind of a little challenge i've set for myself so fire team and then we're going to get that chest there so that was a million it wasn't actually too thrilling what was in that chest to be honest with you but yeah and then we're going to go down this way and then this gives us another access back to the ice to do a slight different course we go down and then you slide all the way down to a battle here um now you don't actually want to fight this one. You want to go along and this is going to get you into a good position to go up and get a secret hidden chest up here. This one's a little bit naughty in my opinion. And you are going to have to kill yourself after you've got this chest. But let me show you what I mean. Get the fire out. That fire move is ridiculous. Then you grab all your bits, you grab the secret chest and then you lob yourself down a hole. And lobbing yourself down the hole doesn't kill you. Um, it does just sort of drop you back to the start. So you're not going to lose too much whilst doing this. So you just fall back down here and then you're back at the start. And you are going to want to go back the way you came. But yes, you, you know, it's important to get the chest because of course you need to do that to make sure you're 100% the map. And then you want to loop back around and basically end up going back to more or less the same place as where before. So then you go down here, loop yourself over, loop yourself down, and you're going to navigate your way down here. 
Again, there's only one way you can go down here. And it's basically just resetting to that position again. So you can get into a good place. Now, you are going to want to fight this guy. Um, oh, hang on. You are going to want to fight the guy down there this time. So you see what I did there? Once you've looped up there, you go across, slide here, go down. You are going to want to fight this guy. Because, of course, this is going to be able to push you to the next little bit. Which is only going to help. Just spam that to get used as quickly as possible. Now, now you can move down on this chest like this. Uh, I'll just grab uh, that one so I can get my fire guy upgraded. Then you're going to slide down here, fight this one, and grab the chest behind there. Again, um, it is important that you do this because you can. You need to. You do need to be a little bit careful on this bit, um, as as I'm about to show you. Because obviously, once you've done this, you you slide all the way up now, so it kind of changes the way that the the thing works. You grab that. And then you go down, then you slide up. So now it sort of resets the position you're going in. You slide over here, and then you lob yourself down a hole. So then, then what you need to do is start this procedure again. And this is going to take you to the places that you've missed. So again, do feel free to speed this video up on times two speed. But it, it is just a nice, easy way to kind of navigate and make sure you're doing it. Or if you're just liking me rambling nothing drop a like. Uh, do consider clicking that top link in the description as well, guys. Help support the channel and also enter my daily giveaway. So we're going to hit there and then we're going to go up and around and then back down. And obviously now we're going to start to get into the position where we were. And now we hit the ice and it blocks us here and then we can go along and hit the teleporter, which is obviously very, very useful because that's going to bring us into kind of the next element to begin the sort of second phase, I guess you could call it. So now we're here. We're going to complete this, collect that. It doesn't really matter for me what I pick up. Obviously, if you are on a lower level, it does help to get all of the burn stuff. Because if you get the burn stuff, you can fly through this as easy as possible. So you can probably you can see that I've done a few of these. But I'm kind of going to navigate up to some secret chests first. Because I think that's more important. So then we're going to go along here. Then we go down to this chest down here. So, so I say these are secret chests. These are just a little bit more difficult to get to. Because you kind of got to know the way to approach it. Um, and then you can go up and slide along here. So again, just doing these bits, bit by bit, slowly by slowly, you're gonna to be able to get to where you need to go, along there, then you go up again. And when you go up here, it's just it's just a long train. It's a very long train to kind of get to where you need to go, but you're gonna be able to do another little boss battle here, and there is a chest located behind here as well for you guys. So that's given us a fashion blanket, which is very nice. And then, yeah, so then you can sort of pick up what you need from there and then pick up the chest, which is tucked away behind there. And now we can go back around to the next element. because obviously we're back on ice now. So we can just navigate around, sorry, snow. So it's quite easy to sort of bop around where we need to go now. Slide down here. And now we've got a wedge of battles to do. It's getting a few more chests here. So we just clear these ones nice and easily like that. Fire out. Everyone's dead. You just get slapped by a bison, which is lovely. Open that up. Uh, again, it, does, it doesn't really matter at this point. I saw as many times as possible because I want to do another divination. See so if I can get another M bison. If I can get another M bison, I can bring him up to, I think, red. Am I on red on him or do I need to do one more? I think, uh, no, so I think I've just got him on yellow for now on my M bison. So I've still, unfortunately, got a little bit of a sort of a, a journey to do until I can get him where I need to get him, which is which is a little bit annoying. But yeah, you know, it, it unfortunately is what it is there, guys. And it does take a very long time. So now we can slide along here, which kind of puts us to the next bit. And as you can see, there are three battles to do here and you unlock more chests. And yeah, again, these aren't too difficult for me. But you just do these battles and these are going to unlock a nice range of chests for everybody. You're going to be able to pick, take home three chests from that. And then which is also going to lead us to a boss battle up there. I'm not going to do that last one because I don't need to. But that, then you can use this to slide up to this battle up here. Which sort of unlocks another little bit of the map for us to explore. Now, after you've done this battle, what you don't want to do is pick the chest up. You want to go along to get to the next secret area across here. And you're going to want to smash through this battle as quickly as possible. So again, get the fire out. The fire is by far the easiest way to clear sort of effort. See, burn, I got the burn again. I'm going to get the secret chest there. So I say I see one summon, that's just sad. You go for all that effort and they give you one summon, you know, come on. Come on, I, 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 don't, I just feel a bit bad about that. You know, I feel like we could do a little bit more. So we're going to slide along here. 
which is going to give us one little platform which allows us to go up. Obviously, you can only go up from there and then you kill yourself to get the restart. So again, there is a lot of killing yourself in this mode, as you guys can see. Um, and we're using this sort of one here to keep blocking us in. So it's important that you don't pick that chest up because now we can get to different places. And obviously, there is another teleporter, as you can see at the top. So we're just going to go over to here and then we can hit the ice down here as well. And this kind of gives us a little bit more of a different route to take. Because then we can slide along here, slide down here, slide along here. This is about getting to that boss battle, guys. So then we can go up here. And we hit the ice and we're going to hit that block, which you just saw me go past over here. So that's going to hit that block there. And then we slide right up to the top and do this battle here. And then we unlock sort of chapter three, as I'm calling it, as we go through this. So now we unlock chapter three, which is almost, well, it is basically the last bit of this. So then we do M. Bison, get that. I'll just take the gold one, why not? Again, it's not a huge importance for me to actually even worry. Then you can just tick through this bit with ease because it's kind of like the final boss leg. But again, it's easy for me, but you know, Hopefully you will see most people are dying automatically because I've got that double burn stack. Like I said, it, it does help a lot. Let me claim that one. Crit rate, another boss there. Whack this guy, whack this boss out as well. We're going to use Baraka. Burn, lovely. Open that up. Uh, enemies execute. I love that one. Crossed with the fire. You'll see how ridiculous this watch. Look. They'll just all die. Oh, they, there, yeah, the laser hits them. That's them being executed. I li like that they do a cool little animation for it, actually. Uh, just stun the enemy for five seconds. I love that one. Just gives you so much time to just attack everyone. Then you can see we've got two pathways here for a couple more bosses. Again, nothing difficult here at all. Everyone's dropped. It's just the way it is. Everybody drops at all times. So now we're going to go from here as well. Two battles here, and they both give you the final chests. It, it's kind of that simple, and you're going to get two beautiful chests for this as well. And again, this is quite easy for me, but it, it can be a bit of a struggle. So don't worry if you can't beat it. Come back, pause the video, maybe come back in, in a week later. That's what I tend to If I fail one, I'll play the game for a week, and then come back a week later. And that always seems to help me. So a few useless bits of gear, really, but I can use it to just throw away now. So obviously red's the best gear you can get. And then we're in here, and we're just going to, again, burn all these people down. Nice and easy, burn them all down. Always mad right. Sorry, uh, M. Bison. He's always just that bit annoying, isn't he? Boost, and then I've hunted out the map. There we go. Done, and we got the new fighting soul, which is pretty good. That's, that's quite a tanky one, so I've cleared it. You know when you've cleared it because you get the annoying pop-ups. There we go, guys. I hope this has helped, but we've cleared the stage. And yeah, I'll see you legends all in the next one. Like and subscribe, check out my Street Fighter playlist for loads of tips and tricks, and I'll see you guys soon.